Hello there and thank you very much for joining me today. My name's Paul and behind me today I've got the extra long wheelbase L4H2 Peugeot Boxer. Just want to take you on a quick walk around and show you some of the features that these fantastic vans have got to be offered to benefit you and your business. So let's have a look around. Okay, so this is the L4 extra long wheelbase Peugeot Boxer H2 height. First thing, this is a pre-registered vehicle. So with that, you've got the full manufacturer's warranty from the date that the vehicle was first registered. Aside from that, we've also applied a triple layer Gardex treatment that helps to give you some protection against negative effects of UV from sunlight, acidity and rainwater, anything at all that's gonna cause any premature aging, dimming or deterioration to that lovely finish. As we're walking around, you'll see you've got the reflectors there running up both sides of the L4, so extra visibility and safety. Two massive full-size barn-style doors on the back there. They're going to give you maximum access to that storage area of the van. Alongside having the full-size side-loading sliding door there, lots and lots of accessibility to the storage area. Behind this flap on the near side, between the sliding and the passenger door, you've got your AdBlue and diesel filler caps just in there. You've also got those really nice large split mirrors. They're going to give you maximum access to that back storage area of this van. So loads and loads on the outside there. Let's jump inside and have a look inside. Okay, so in the back of the vehicle now, between the wheel arches, 142 centimetres of storage width. 190 centimetres outside of those. In terms of height, from the floor to the bottom of the ribs on the ceiling, you've got a lovely 194 centimetres of storage height. So lots of standing room in the back of this van. Now from the bulkhead along the floor all the way to the back doors, and you've got four, my apologies, 402 centimetres of storage length. So lots and lots of storage space in the back of this van. Looking at your bulkhead, you've also got an additional 45 centimetres of storage just up above that, going over the top of the cab. That's good for 20 kilos of weight up there. Looking in the back, you'll see you do get the spare wheel as well. Now, that will be harnessed underneath at point of sale, just for security. We keep them inside the vans while they're on site. You've got lots and lots of tie-down points in the back of this van as well. So if you do need anything tied down, whether it be for stability, safety, any reason at all, it's going to be very, very easy for you to do so. You've also got the uh, lining on the sidewalls halfway up, so you've got a bit of protection there for the van if anything does slip or fall. Now, if you did want anything like ply lining done throughout or parking sensors, anything like that, we don't do accessories ourselves but we can put you in touch with local businesses that will do that sort of work for you as well. Also, just on the offside rear pillar there, as you can see, you've got the 12 volt charging point. So if you do need power while you're in the back of the vehicle, you have that nice and easily accessible for you. The doors, as you can see, open out to 90 degrees, but if you need them open further, just gonna push on that button there. That's gonna allow us to push those doors all the way out to 180 degrees, really maximizing that access to that back storage space. Now, that could be for any host of reasons, but let's just say someone's parked close behind. Uh, any reason at all, very, very easy to do that. So loads and loads of options in the back there. Let's jump into the cab and have a look in the front. Okay, so moving in on the driver's side now, loads and loads of storage room in those door channels. You've got electronic central locking, windows, and mirror controls. Before we jump in, just looking at the driver's seat, you've got the handbrake on the outside of that. You've got tilt adjusters as well for the driver's seat and the angle for the backrest adjuster as well. You've also got a pull down armrest, added convenience there for the driver and a hard surface that pulls down from the second passenger seat. That's got a clipboard function on there. That's really useful for any invoicing, billing or journal entries you may have to do. Aside from that, you've also got three adjustable headrests there, so maximum convenience for everybody in the vehicle. Okay. Okay, so just starting up the vehicle now. As you see, the vehicle starts nice and easy first time. No worries there. No warning lights on the dash either, which is perfect. And delivery miles only, nothing else on there. Now, on that dash display, lots of options that you can run through there from driving range to 
odometer, lots and lots of options. And all we're gonna do is just use the button on the end of the wiper controls there. That's gonna go through those options for us. Just on the right, you've got the mode button that'll take you into the system menu on there. Steering wheel is connected. You've got hands-free calling options there, volume and track controls, voice controls as well. To the lower left of the steering wheel, the stalk there is your cruise control options as well. Moving over to the gear stick, you've got a six speed manual gearbox in this vehicle. Next to that, you've got the climate control. So I'm gonna point out you have got aircon included with this vehicle as well. So I'm just gonna pop that on there. Moving over, you've got a USB and a 12 volt charging point. You've got two glove boxes as well. So lots and lots of storage. Storage up in front of your passengers, up along the dash. Now this storage compartment connects to the AC. So if you do have anything you wanna keep chilled, whether it's just your lunch or anything else, that's nice and conveniently there for you. You've got a pull-up clipboard as well. So if you're using anything like an itinerary or maps, it's very easy to have that up there. But also, if you use a mobile device, you've also got that attachment there that will hold on to any mobile device for you. Just below that, and we've got the multimedia system. So with this system, you've got DAB radio included amongst your normal AM and FM bands. Let's just go into there for you. Next to that, we've got the media option. So you can stream audio from any uh, USB connected device or from any Bluetooth connected device as well. Once you've got a Bluetooth device connected, you've also got the option there for hands-free calling as well. You've also got an external thermometer there, a clock, a compass, and a trip computer on there. Nice extra little feature that you've got. You may have already noticed you've got the TomTom sat-nav built into this device as well. So a nice industry leading uh, sat-nav brand that's included with this vehicle. So absolutely loads going on in this vehicle for you. Really nicely finished. Lots and lots of options and fantastic value for money. I'm sure you would agree. So thank you very much for taking the time to have a look around the L4 H2 Peugeot Boxer with me. I'm sure you'd agree this is a fantastic vehicle. Loads and loads of features there, loads of benefits for yourself and your business. If there's anything at all that we can do to assist with a purchase or jumping onto one of our fantastic finance deals, please don't hesitate to let us know and it'll be a pleasure to look after you however we possibly can. Aside from that, if you can hit that five-star review button for me, that would be greatly appreciated on my part. Once again, thank you very much for your time today. Have a lovely day ahead, and we'll look forward to speaking to you very, very soon. Bye now.